you ever lost something? Keys, phone, wallet? We've all been there, right? Well, what if we told you that a billion years of Earth's history is just missing? We don't know where it went. It's true, there's a huge gaping hole in our geologic record, a hole so big that a quarter of our planet's 4.5 billion years of history is just gone. And no one knows exactly where it went. It's called the Great Unconformity. You'll find it here at the Grand Canyon, and we're going to looking around to learn more about it today on Nine Worlds. The Great Unconformity is a giant mysterious hole in our planet's geologic record. But to understand why it is so important and what it all means, you need to know a little bit about how rock forms underneath our feet. If you've ever seen a picture of the Grand Canyon, you've probably noticed that it's formed in layers of rock, which are noticeable and sometimes colorful. In a lot of places, the canyon walls sort of look like a slice of one big beautiful rocky layer cake. Each of those layers represents a distinct period in Earth's history since each layer was laid down at a particular time. There's a branch of geology called stratigraphy that studies how rock layers form over time. Now, one of the basic concepts in the study of stratigraphy is the idea that rock layers like those that we see at the Grand Canyon are younger at the top and older at the bottom. This is called the law of superposition. Typically, sediment like dust, clay, and sand accumulate very slowly over time in layers from top to bottom, just like particles at the bottom of a snow globe settle one layer on top of the other. Over millions of years, these small layered particles start to compact and bind together to form rock in a process called cementation. Now, once cemented, a layer of rock that is distinct from everything above and below it is called a stratum. Multiple strata pile up on each other to form a rock sequence. And voila, you have sedimentary rock that keeps piling and layering on itself for millions and millions of years, making the cake-like layer structure that we see at the Grand Canyon. And this is where we have to mention an important caveat about the law of superposition. The idea that rocks at the top are younger than rocks at the bottom of a layer only holds true if that rock hasn't been disturbed in some way. And as it turns out, probably no surprise to you, the Earth just isn't that predictable a place. Geologic forces move rock layers around. Sedimentation can sometimes start and stop in places for periods of time. And wind and water can erode away layers of rock, effectively removing parts of our history. This creates gaps in our rock record that geologists call a hiatus. Now, sometimes these gaps can be millions of years long. So when a hiatus occurs, it's like a chapter of a book goes missing just torn out and gone from the Earth's story. The good news is we can see a hiatus in the rock record. We know when the angle, color, and texture of new rock looks really different, that's a good cue that a hiatus is happening. The lines between the cake layers go all wonky. So for example, you might see layers at an angle that have been tilted, eroded, and then layered over by other rock layers that look relatively vertical again. This is called an unconformity. Now, an unconformity is a boundary line. It is the dividing point between two different rock layers that shouldn't be next to each other. The rock layer or layers that should be in between are missing. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. As it turns out, the beautiful walls of the Grand Canyon are full of unconformities, including a one big whopper named the Great Unconformity or Powell's Unconformity. This unconformity was first identified by John Wesley Powell on expeditions exploring the canyon and the Colorado River that began in 1869, and it was later named by geologist Clarence Dutton in 1882. In many of these sections, you'll find a layer of sandstone that is about 500 million years old, followed by a layer of schist that is 1.75 billion years old. Why great? Well, it's considered great for two reasons. First, it spans across the ancient geological core of the North American continent called Laurentia. So this hole in the rock record is remarkably and unusually widespread. Second, while other unconformities have been found in other places across the globe, they usually represent only tens of millions of missing years. For example, Hutton's unconformity in Scotland, where there is an 80 million year gap in the geologic history. 
But here at the Grand Canyon, the Great Unconformity represents a truly enormous gap in the record, where the smallest time gap is 250 million years, and the largest is 1.2 billion years. Our planet has only existed for 4.5 billion years, so this represents a quarter of the record of our planet. Interestingly, this gap isn't from any old time period. The rock record is right before the Cambrian explosion, a time where life flourished everywhere, especially in the oceans. Hmm, this may give us a clue to where all that missing rock may have gone. Now, there's really only two ways that this rock could go missing. One is that it was never deposited in the first place, and the second is that it was eroded away. Of those two, the erosion hypothesis seems more likely, especially because the rock under the unconformity, the Vishnu schist, is much more compressed than the rock above, just as it would have been if a huge volume had once existed over it, pushing it down and compressing it. So if all this rock eroded away, how did it erode and where did it go? Well, the leading hypothesis is that during this period of time represented by the Great Unconformity, the Earth was much, 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 much colder than it is now and entirely covered by ice. This is the Snowball Earth Hypothesis, and recently scientists have published research suggesting that this massive ice sheet could have removed a dozen kilometers of rock from the Earth's surface as it scraped and crawled its way across the planet thus creating the erosion responsible for the hole in the rock record that we see at the Great Unconformity. And where did all of that rock end up, you ask? Well, most likely at the bottom of the ocean, where the minerals in that rock could have caused huge environmental changes that encouraged the giant bump in diversity and life that occurred in the Cambrian period. Well, it's time for us to erode away Hope you enjoyed today's video. We'll be searching for you next week. Bum bum bum. bum, bum, bum.